hi guys welcome to my youtube channel this is where we discuss the issues of life and this is never age tv guys life is too short to worry about everything yes worry about things of life but don't kill yourself about things that you don't have guys do you have life yes are you in good health yes did you eat in the morning or in the evening or in the whatever times you take your meals yes are you sick no let me tell you there is nothing as good as good health if you have good health you have a roof on top of your head you have you are not uh you have something to eat you are blessed guys you are very very blessed i want to talk about a blessing that we overlook we overlook good health every time we overlook good health. because we are after money we want money 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 we want to buy plots we want to buy cars we want to build homes and houses and this is very good that's why we live life we want to drive the very nice cars that is very very good who didn't want to drive that nice car i would want the best car on earth i would want to live in a that very 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 nice house building a very nice house i would want to eat that very very good food but guys suppose i have all those things and i'm sick <laughs> Let me tell you, you can have everything, but if you are sick, you will not even enjoy anything. Because good health is everything, guys. When you have good health, you have everything. And guys, I'm not just discussing a general uh, thing. I'm not telling you just a general thing that everybody knows. Everybody knows that having good health is very, very, very nice. But I'm discussing this because of uh, a friend who has everything, guys. But... Uh, is suffering from cancer guys and it is nobody's liking no you will never call upon yourself a disease it just happens and i remember at the time we were we were looking for money striking a deal after another trying to get this and that and we it was very very difficult to even make anything uh but uh this friend of ours uh is the lucky type and uh, very lucky guys and that's why we went to see her very lucky because uh whatever she touched with her hands was blessed but also there's something else this lady is god fearing even as she has cancer i can stand here and tell you for sure is god fearing there's nothing that is even going to happen to her because i know even if it is cancer it's, she's going to, to get healed and she's going to ca carry on with her life she was the blessed type she was the very lucky uh, person. Everything that she touched, she got it. Every deal that she struck, it went through. We lost many, but we, were, we used to be in a group. But she was always succeeding. And we were like, hey, she's blessed. She's blessed. Okay, then this lady, uh, years after, got everything, if I should say, things that you desire to have in life. A, guy, a nice car, got a home which many of us don't have, got uh, a family, got everything that I can count that every a human being would want to have. A uh, normal, normal, regular human being got everything. But guys, above all else, she got very born again, very saved. The fear of God in her was, was known by everybody. This girl was so prayerful, so good to us, helping us whenever we had issues. <clears throat> And guys, she was a good friend. What do you think we felt when we were told that she's suffering from cancer? We all ran there to go and see her in hospital. And guys, let me tell you, she was in a bad state. When we saw her, she was in a bad state, but still confessing God. Then we remembered all, everything that she has, and we said, oh gosh, can you imagine? I wish, we love her so much. We were saying, if God, we can tell you to take everything else that this girl has, and just leave, give her good health. It's only that we cannot command you. We cannot instruct you. But if it were to be asked, we were to be asked, we would say, God, take everything but spare her life. By the way, she was in a very bad state. But we are trusting God that we are going to find her better tomorrow. She was in a very bad state. And when we remembered what God has done in her life, the favors she has had in her life, successes in life, and here she is, very sick very sick 
we just looked at ourselves and we said i think we should count every blessing that we have we may have looked at her like that blessed one who used to get everything and we were like if it were like uh, how, how am i saying how what am i saying okay those days that she was able to get everything and we were struggling we were like ah, she gets everything she's like she's like but look at it this way we are direct the fact that we are also blessed even if you don't have money you are blessed because you have got good health even if you don't have this and that you are blessed because you have you are blessed guys yes you are blessed there is no blessing that equals good health we may have lacked those other things but good health we to this day we are in good health but we don't have those nice cars we don't have those nice homes we don't have this and that but we are in good health let us count our blessings and this is a lesson i learned today that counting our blessings should not only be based about on on property property or things of this world no 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 we should count our blessings in whatever instance we should look at ourselves as very blessed because if god has given you good health you are blessed guys like and subscribe to this channel and this is never htv guys we discuss issues of life in this channel and that is what we do so we are discussing this reminding each other that we are all blessed irrespective of what we have we don't have we are all blessed so long as we have good health let's pray for our sister to get better and guys subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye bye